Okay, got to see if I can keep this short enough under YouTube's criteria. So anyhow, today, this is crazy. Uh, I've had this for quite a while, and it's one of those, well, I don't care if I sell it or not. If I sell it, put the money in the bank, I'm getting 0.07% on the money, um, where this thing's just going up like crazy. So this is the top, top, top of the King World. This is the King Super 20 Silver Sonic. So most of the time when you see a silver bell, yeah, it's silver plated, no. Sterling silver and El Mismo, the same on the neck. Sterling silver neck. Everyone I've seen, these necks have been smashed, crushed down, and one of the few companies that actually lacquers over the silver, and usually it's coming off and looks kind of nasty, um, but this is really nice. Underslung octave key. So Yanagasawa just brought that back. It's amazing how many things on this saxophone that have been brought back by other companies. So first of all, the underslung octave key. So it's when you're putting this neck on, you're not even touching the octave key, which is cool. Every set screw has a locking nut. So if the action starts getting a little loose, um, back off the set screw, uh, take a screw up and um, lock it down again, you're good for another 20, 30 years. So a wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, thing that most companies don't do. And I have the two excellents all the time where the screws are falling out. So um, like on the Yamahas, I order their, uh, their key guard screws by the 100. Almost everyone comes in with a couple missing. They're just threaded in and nothing to keep them threaded in. Every screw on this has a, a tooth locking washer. So they're never going to come out. Again, a, a locking washer on every screw. Um, so back in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s, um, they were putting, only company I know back then that was doing a double arm on the low C. So this thing's made to be just played and played and played and, um, you know, just hold up forever. And now, of course, you know, Cannonball and Yanagasawa are coming out with the, have come out with the uh, double arms on here, but not anybody else for, for years. So really cool crescent uh, key guards on, on it. Um, I, I needed a key guard one of these. There was a guy in Europe selling just the key guard for 50 bucks. He charges for them. Uh, yeah, I think he makes them from scratch. And I've had some guys actually make them because they're really hard to find. And, and just in really, really nice shape. Beautiful engraving up and down the bell. Not sure how well you can see it. You can see the pads are in great shape. Um, all the guards. Um, it's usually the back side that's obliterated with dents and scratches. And there's some scratches, but really, really clean. Here's the bottom where it usually gets the first wax. I get them all the time where the, that bottom key guard's bopped off. But look at Huge clothes guard on this side. I get caught on mine, on my horn, and this one's really nice. And again, some scratches up and down the back side, but nothing, nothing really major. Um, quite a few pads replaced. I know the top and the bottom pads have been replaced. Um, this one is serial number 510201. 510201. And technically, I can't remember the date, but who cares? So, um, anyhow, basically top of the line and king. So, if you wanted to get the top of the line king, you get the, the Mark 6 and the Tenors, and the Con, you get a 10M, and you know, if you want to get the best of everybody's world. But just a phenomenal, some of the greatest guys, you know, Rasan, Roland Kirk. Um, if you haven't heard of them, um, Steve Douglas was part of the Wrecking Crew down in LA with their recording, marvelous, marvelous rock and roll saxophone player. And, of course, King Curtis, you know, the, the King player. So, anyhow. Yeah, that's King Curtis tune. Anyhow, all the way down to the B flat. A second to get used to the table keys. It's quite a bit different than than on the modern horns, but um, you know who cares? It sounds great. Also, gold plated. I mean, we're talking real gold, not a gold wash, but actually a gold plate uh, inside the belt, which is just gorgeous. Um, the only model above this, they had one with the added pearls, and the added one where the uh, the logo was actually gold engraved on the bell. So they do make a couple things, you know. Basically the same horn with just more, more uh, bling on it. 
but um, again, in just a really, really nice shape. Just a rockin'. <laughs> what I call the money note. F sharp pops right up. No high F sharp key, because who wants it? So we're going to play a quick tune and um, see if we can keep under the, the 10 minutes of the, of the uh, YouTube guys. For anything, what else? Um, real pearls, you know, everything now is plastic. So, um, again, in just a you know, really, really nice shape. And again, really haven't even advertised it. It's on my webpage, but um, which is all, by the way, is www.stevegraysaxes.com. That's G R A Y. So it's S T E V G R A Y S A X E S.com. And uh, again, really haven't pushed it because it's just one of those things where I'll leave it long enough there where the inflation is going to catch up to the price I'm asking for it. And it's probably already gone there and, and beyond. So anyhow, we're going to play something real quick and um, get on with it.
without uh, something screwing up. So... <laughs> That's me. I'm just not used to these keys. All right. Running out of time. So um, there it is. King Super 20. Really, really clean. I mean, this is just uh, just the stuff. So there you go. Gotta go.